my YouTube world. This is Johnny Mo coming to you again with I was gonna make that estimating video my last one, but after re receiving a few emails, um, I just want to go over a couple things with you about the video, and you know, just make it a quick one. Also, weigh in this a little bit of a weigh in. Lost another pound last week. Uh, I was hoping to actually lose two pounds, and I didn't. Uh, a little bit frustrating, but hey, it is what it is. It's still another pound. We're getting down there. Um, but <clears throat> estimating, you know, the subject keeps coming up about low ball, low balling, and I'm going to give you an example of, you know, there's a disease. I started to get into this at the end of the video, and I got off on a rant. I want to clarify some things. You know, <clears throat> what happens in this business is guys start to get big heads, and you know, they've done well for themselves. At least they think they're doing well for themselves. You know, they're out there, they got the, the, the trucks, they got crews, they got plows, and you know, and it gets addicting. I mean, you start going out and buying 40 grand trucks, you're putting a $7,000 plow in front of it, a five, $6,000 salter, or then you get the, now you think you're big. And now you go out and get a $70,000 dump truck with $10,000 hydro, central hydraulics. And now you've got a forty thousand dollar loader. You're you're getting twenty ton of salt in every year, guys. When I talk to you in the branch theology about growing slowly, growing with your business, this is what I mean. Guys get ahead of themselves and they're not making any money, and then they want to cry about you being a low baller. I'm gonna give you an example. This guy in town, nice setup. He has about five guys working for him, two crews. And you know uh, his beautiful dump truck. Um, you know, I think at the time back then he it was a seventy thousand dollar dump truck with ten thousand dollar central hydraulic units and huge plow, salt out the yin. I mean, his his overhead is so high. He was he was doing a place. He was plowing it for sixty, and then he was salting it for sixty. So that's one hundred twenty bucks. Well, we had a bad winter in one year, and, and the guy decided to bid him out, and I happened to be one of the bids. Well, I come in there, and I I charge him thirty five to plow it and thirty five to salt it. It's seventy dollars. Well, then all of a sudden I get it, and everybody's going, "Well, you're, you're a low baller. You you don't know your cost. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna take all your accounts. Not at one hundred twenty dollars a lot. You're not." <laughs> I love it, man. You can't mess with me. You're out. You're out in left field. You've gotten so big. You're out. You're out of touch with reality. You know what I mean? Seventy dollars, guys. Fifteen minutes. I have a lot right next door for a hundred and fifty. Boom. Thirty-five minutes. Within the hour, you add it up, guys. Hundred and fifty. Seventy. Come on. How much do you need to make an hour? That's over two hundred dollars an hour, dude. I'm almost approaching 300. Come on, guys. You got to think. You got to think. So it's not low balling. 15 minutes to, to plow and salt a lot, and you're doing it for 120. And you wonder, well, I lost it. You're low balling. I've got $90,000 of snow plowing equipment. Oh, oh, I don't care. You weren't in my thoughts when I bid the lot. I could care less. I'm making money. Why? Because this town, this is why you got to know the town you live in. You're not living in Buffalo. You're not living in Syracuse. You don't go buy $90,000 worth of snow plowing equipment and then wonder why you can't make any money. Duh, da, 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 da. Forget this idea, guys, about being lowball. Know your numbers. Go in and charge what you want to charge. You can yap, 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 yap all you want about me. I don't care. I, I've been cashing those $70 checks for four years now. Why? You know, in the standard interesting price, you know, people want to cry like, you're not even up to standards. I don't care. I'm making money. You know what I mean? I'll take you outside right now. We can go for a walk. I'll show you all my equipment. You know, I got one truck is 42 grand, the other one's 35 grand. I've got a five thousand dollar plow on my other one. I got a four thousand dollar plow. I got I got salt. I got, I got all the toys. I just know when you're getting into business, you got to think like a businessman. You can't think like um, a hobbyist. 
I, when I buy my trucks, I buy the work package trucks. You know, I'm not trying to spend 50 grand on a truck to go ruin it plowing. It's got bumps and nicks in it. And you know, at the end of the year, every year, I'll take it to the auto body store and they'll, they'll touch up some stuff, you know. That's why you gotta know your numbers. Forget, listen, forget these other guys and their crews and their fancy trucks. You know, would I love to have a $90,000 dump? Oh, sure I would, come on, anyone wouldn't. Would I love to have 10 zero turns? Oh, come on guys, yeah. But what can your town support? You know, these guys running around here with these $100,000 dump trucks and you, you don't even have a Starbucks in your town. Where do you think you live in, Buffalo? You think we're getting that much snow? I mean, think about it. How much does your $100,000 house cost a month? And now all of a sudden you want a $100,000 vehicle that are probably going to be paid off in seven years? You can't swing that stuff, man. And then all of a sudden you have to charge a lot more. And here's the thing, you know, if you're plowing that much, you know, every seven years, just about, you're probably getting a new dump truck because things rotten out on you, man. You gotta think, man. You got, guys, you know, this, this, this cracks me up with low balling, you know. Sure, I'm almost half of what he was. Dude, I'm making almost 300 bucks an hour. It's not my fault you need to make $120 for 15 minutes of work. There's a problem. Sure, if you're getting that, that's cool. But see, that's the disease that you run into when it comes to snow plowing. It's the disease you run into when you start running into mowing. Your eyes get too big. You know, I know how much people can make in the truck with two guys. You know, bad day, $70. Good day, $120. You know, so when your business costs you $100 to run, that means you got to consistently run over $100 per hour just to make the cut. That's not with the profit. I'm talking to you about real stuff right now, guys. Uh, if you're out there and you're wanting to grow your business, that's why I told you in a branch theology, you know, only go out as far on the branch as you as it will support you. That's why I don't have all those big boy dump trucks and all that. I stay in my lane. I know where my lane is. I ain't trying to get out there and do, you know, Walmarts and and all that. There's no money in Walmart or Lowe's or Home Depot. Let me tell you, dirty little secret, baby. Here you go. And I know because I have a friend who's in management at one of these big box stores, which I'm not going to say here. He told me what he pays out. Let's say box store number one pays out 40 grand a year to do their lot, to salt it and keep it up. Well, what happens is a management company comes in and they get the contract. And when then they come to someone like say you or the $70,000 $100,000 dump truck guy cuz you can you can handle it cuz you got the big boy toys. You got the big boy debt. Well they say, "You know what? We'll, we'll let you do this for 20 grand." Okay. So you accept the contract at 20 grand. So you got a contract for 20 grand to do the big box stores. Then you get pounded with snow. You're only getting 20 grand. And now you're making payments on not you're making payments on a huge massive truck, probably somewhere three, four thousand dollars a month. And you're like, you're not making any money. They're making the money. They're just telling you when to go do it. And here's another tip, guys. Tip number two! Don't work for management companies. You know what their specialty is? It's in ripping you off. Come on, I get management coming, hey, I'd like you to go out. No, I don't want to work for you. I want to work for myself. Well, this lot, they'll they give you some crazy number like you can plow the lot for $25.80. Take your $25.80 and go shove it. And here's what they do. They'll call you up and be like, well, you have to have a manager sign off. You have to have a picture before and after, and you got to send it in after every storm. Who has time to do, what if the manager's not, not, not in there at the time? And then you don't get it signed. You know what they do? Here's what they do. They say, oh, the billing's done wrong. You're not getting paid for it. We have no proof. And then they'll hold you off so long. Here's another line they give you. You ready for this line? I'm giving you all the secrets, baby. Giving you all the secrets. Here's another line they give you. Well, we're just waiting for um, the big box store to send in the check, and then we'll send you the check. They're lying. I know for a fact they signed a contract in July and they've been getting paid every month since July. 
What are they doing to you? They're holding you over until the end of the year or they'll pay you just enough. They'll give you one month of income and then they're waiting for the snow to stop so they can keep you on the hook long enough to screw you in the end. Because what they'll do is they don't want to settle. Uh, you know, they, they get you out into June and July and they're like, well, you know, how about we settle with you? We're going to settle for 10% of, of what it was. And all of a sudden, you know, if, you, if you're smart, you have a lawyer, just take them to court and they'll eventually pay you. But they're stringing you along because they want to see how much money that they can save. Because if they could save another seven grand off of that 20 grand that they promised you, see guys, this is why you got to know your numbers, man. This is why you got to get in there. You're a low baller. You're a low baller. I'm not a low baller. I'm cashing checks at the bank. It's not my fault you got so big that it takes too much to run your company. And you got so prideful that you had to go above what your community and what you could actually service. This is very important. Do not outgrow your current business. Do you see what I mean? You can't go overboard and overshoot yourself. Because what happens is you got guys like me. Ain't got much overhead, bro. I'll come in there. 70 bucks. Do, do, sweep right up. Been doing it for four years. Just cashed your check today. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars for last month. You know, plowing and salting her lots. Uh, 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 stay alive, stay alive. Ha, 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 ha. And I'm making money. I'm not losing one dollar. I'm actually making money. Fifteen minutes, seventy dollars. Where else are you going to go in America and make that? Oh, you got to take a little bit of fuel out. You got to take a little bit of salt out. But I'm so exact with my salting. I know exactly. When I go out, I know what the temperature is. I know how much salt to put down. I know how much salt to save. These guys going around these central hydraulics are just pushing a button. They're melting a lot, but they're losing thousands. And and at the end of the year, it's like they're like, well, I did I did you know one hundred fifty thousand dollars in snow removal, but they're not like where'd all the money go? It's out to your rear end, man. It's out in payments to the to the leasing company for your truck, man. Come on, this is what I want to talk to you about. I want to tell you the truth about, you know, estimating. This is why you need to know your numbers. Sit down. What's your gas bill per month? Meaning your home heating. What's your water bill? What's your electric bill? What's your cable bill? What's your phone bill? What's all, what's your house bill? What's your grocery bill? What, you know, write it all down. What's your uh, automotive fuel bill? What, what's all that bill? Then add it up. What's it take, man? What's it take? What's it take to run you, man? Let's say you need $40, $40 an hour Every hour, then that means you know, go out there and you got to get your money, man. Go out there and be competitive. Get the equipment that you need, but don't go out there and get the you know equipment that you're never going to be able to pay off. You know, especially when you're in snow removal. Wait till you, I'm going to start doing snow removal ones. When you get into snow removal, you can get over your head quick, man. You can buy a seven thousand dollar plow, and you're not you can't use a seven thousand dollar plow. You know, the average plow is between four thousand and fifty five hundred. It's just the truth, man. I'm giving you, I'm giving you the tips and the seeks of the trade. Don't work for management companies. Screw them. You can call me to your blue. I wouldn't take a check from you because I know you want to screw me. You know, here's here's another trick they do, especially when it comes to mowing. You got a, I got a place up the street from me, and what they'll do is they don't mow it all the month of April, and they'll call you the second week in May. I'm like, we really need this done. Uh, things didn't work out the way we last guy was supposed to do it. It's just not true. You just didn't pay the last guy. And all of a sudden, hey, we'll pay you. Say it was supposed to be $40 to cut that every week. So 40 times 4 is 160 And then you got another 80 because it's the second week. You know, so, you know, it's like a 200 and some dollar cut. We'll pay you $100 to go cut that right now. We'll give you our credit card number right now. We'll do, you go to, no. Because you're going to be there forever. There's trash everywhere. It's going to be this high. Then you're going to take a picture. It's never going to look good. And they're going to be like, hey, we really thought it was going to look a lot better for you. And they're going to mess with you. And then they're going to wait another three weeks. And then they'll call someone else. Why? They collected the money every month to have that place cut. Forget that, man. Johnny Moe here giving you the seeks and the tips. Have a great day. Because I'm a low baller.